We've packed the Fast Track C600 and C400 with innovative features that will help you maintain the creative flow, get great mixes, and inspire great performances. Now, when collaborating with other musicians, at some point, you're going to require separate headphone mixes. For example, your vocalist may want to hear effects in her headphones while she's singing, but you might want to monitor and record the vocals dry. Now, in the past, this would require additional gear, cables, and more setup time. But now, you can easily do this with the Fast Track C Series interfaces because they provide multiple headphone mixes as well as onboard DSP effects for monitoring. And here's how you set that up. Okay, so now we're listening to the C600 headphone output number one. Now, to set up your headphone mixes, all you need to do is to go to Hardware, Launch Setup App, and the Fast Track C600 control panel will launch. Up top, you have Analog 1 and 2, and Analog 3 and 4. Now, these will control the headphone output 1 or headphone output 2 on the front panel of the C600. Now, I want you to notice how Analog 1 and 2, the faders are grayed out down here. Now, this is because host control is enabled, and you'll see that right here. So in essence, Pro Tools has control over the input switching for anything that has to deal with outputs one and two. So if I mute my mic channel right here, watch the fader. In this case, the host is in control. Three and four is not controlled by Pro Tools, so nothing's grayed out in here. But that also means that you have to manually make sure that you set it up correctly. So first thing that you would wanna do on three and four, is make sure that the mic channel is turned up. The mic is connected to input one, here's one. So you just wanna make sure that that's turned up. Now, by doing that, you're sending the mic to headphone output two. That's because we're on tab three and four. Tab one and two, it's going to headphone output one. And again, Pro Tools is already dealing with all of the switching for you automatically. All of the actual audio tracks inside of Pro Tools are routed to what we call software returns. That's this area over here. So as you can see, again, Pro Tools is dealing with the software returns and these are turned up. If I go over to analog three and four, they're turned down. So if I wanna hear the track, I'd have to make sure that these are turned up. you're gonna say for you say it you tell me that you're different give me every cliche now to add effects all you have to do is make sure that these down here the input effects sends for your microphone channel is turned up so i already have it turned up right here and by doing so it's sending the microphone input to the effect section down here and i can choose any one of these different effects I'm choosing plate. These are your effect settings that you can adjust to your liking, but I'm still not hearing anything. That's because the last thing you have to do is turn on the effects return. You have to return that effect. And you just do that right here by bringing up this effects return button. Now we're hearing a little bit of reverb on our track. I can bring it down or I can adjust it however I want. Now I don't want to hear reverb out of headphone number one. Those are my headphones. If you want to apply reverb to headphone two, go to three and four, and we turn up the effects return for three and four. Now, you can also save your settings so that you can easily recall them just by going to save as. I hit save, done. And anytime I wanted to recall my settings, C600 layouts, here's the basic settings that you can quickly go in and recall. So there you have it. Powerful yet simple to set up. I'm Brian Carter. Thanks for watching. You can close your eyes, pretend you're dreaming. Only fooling yourself when you believe it. They say I'm better these days, and I'll admit it too. It's me minus you.